Toronto Police Chief Bill Blair says that the police has two videos in their possession and that one of them was accurately depicted in the press and does involve Toronto Mayor Rob Ford. Marcus G is joining us to discuss what does this mean for Mayor Ford? Well, this was a shocking revelation, really. I mean, on the very day we have this big uh, document of uh, police evidence released, we have the chief of police confirming, finally, that this video does exist and that the police have it. That's significant. <laughs> yes, it is. So can you tell us what you saw in the document as you comb through almost 500 pages? There are many images in there. What do we see? Well, we see a lot of images of uh, the mayor and uh, his friend Sandra Lisi uh, exchanging items. Bags are left in the back seat of the mayor's car and so on. Uh, some kind of exchange is going on. We don't know what. Any bombshells from this document? Well, we know, for instance, that 350 phone calls took place between Mr. Lisi and the mayor. We also know there were seven phone calls on the day a known drug dealer was murdered. And so finally, uh, would Mayor Ford have known about Bill Blair's uh, coming announcement? Would he have had any prior knowledge that this was going to happen? I don't think so. We don't know for sure uh, whether the mayor know this, knows whether this was coming. But now, of course, the pressure is on. How will he react? What does he say about all this information? What does he say about the video, which he said he has never seen or does not exist, does exist? What can we say about what will happen next? Well, I think there will be a lot of political pressure on the mayor now to come clean. If not, then to quit. I mean, I think I don't possibly think he can maintain his ongoing silence on all these matters anymore.